You can tell I'm tired today because I just filmed the introduction of this video without setting the microphone up. So <laughs> I'm going to start from the beginning. I'm also a little bit sick, so. Sorry if you can hear my little laryngitis voice. Hello, today we are doing a video that I have not done before and I'm still working out the format of it. So uh, leave your feedback in the comments. If you like it, if you don't like it, just let me know. So I'm going to show you my spring summer capsule wardrobe. I say spring summer because obviously normally you do it by season, but spring slash summer in the UK is really changeable. So I'm kind of lumping all of this in one and I've worn all of this throughout spring. I've added one or two items uh, during the season because I just realized I don't own anything for this particular thing, like a festival or a night out. Oh, that's where I should explain as well. So if you don't know anything about a capsule wardrobe, there'll be some sources down in the description, but basically you try and shop like once every season just to like add or subtract certain bits, but you kind of keep a core wardrobe of good quality stuff that's I'd say like the average is meant to be 38 items, but that's quite low. I think I probably spread up to like between 40 and 50, but I try and keep it as chilled as possible basically. And I include everything in my capsule wardrobe other than evening wear. So I have one or two pairs of heels or one pair of boots I think that I don't include. And then I also have one or two dresses that are like smart dresses, like formally dresses or dresses, occasion dresses that I don't necessarily wear day to day and I still reuse obviously and put away and bring back out with, with the seasons but it just doesn't feel like it's part of a capsule collection. So yeah, today I'm going to be showing you my capsule wardrobe, my, my everything in it pretty much. No, not even pretty much, everything in it. I hope you like it. It's going to be a fun little tour of my wardrobe and also just like a keepsake for me so I can, you know, keep a hold of it in my heart and I knew what I wore in the summer of 2018. But yeah, so you know, I'm still very new to keeping a capsule wardrobe. It's still an ongoing uh, process, I guess, for me. But right now, this is where I'm at. I'm quite happy. So really briefly, let's talk about what changed between autumn slash winter and spring slash summer for this capsule wardrobe of mine. I did quite a lot of shopping for the winter capsule wardrobe. So I don't really need to update much. There's just been, as I said, a couple of um, changes of like I've put some clothes away under my bed that were like jumpers that were too heavy or shoes or boots that made no sense and I've also pulled out from the depths of under my bed a couple of pieces that I've been sitting on for a year or two now or I bought a year or so ago for last summer so I'll try to link everything in the description bar although some items are older or they're secondhand charity shop pieces or I was given them by a friend. So there's obviously a couple of those in there as well. I will try and link similar items. Hopefully we can make sure everyone finds something they like. Let's talk about the inspiration behind this, this transition to spring. So I've actually written a blog post about it, which you can click probably up here or if not down here, about how basically Call Me By Your Name has become my spring and summer wardrobe inspiration. I'm not even mad about it. So I saw the film in, I think January or February, and completely fell in love with it. This is all developed on in the blog post, but this is the kind of abbreviated version. I loved it, I found it really inspiring, I loved what they were wearing. Like the kind of androgynous, band tee, 90s-esque, ah, uh, like Italian summer thing. I just love it. It really did influence some of the things I put in my wardrobe for this period. I'm also really into the kind of Italian summer thing at the moment. The like really loose shirts with a bit of jewelry, nice earrings, very like plain, simple, well cut, like linen-y. I love that. And then of course, if you know me, you'll know that my style is kind of 90s, fashion influenced. I love a little bit of kitsch stuff as well. I love a good band tee. I love a good chunky trainer, chunky boots. I don't know, I think I fall between like an indie Cindy and a 90s throwback children's TV show. Somewhere in that. And then there's also the kind of simple, minimalist, monochrome, chic thing, which I also do as well. So let's start with tops. I'm a very casual person. Not much has changed since any of my other wardrobes ever. I love a good t-shirt. However, I've added in a couple more shirts and I don't know, I've tried to really stick with basic stuff for my for my tees and my top halves, which is kind of a problem because actually I'm doing a lot more festival things and evening things this season. So I kind of keeping my eyes out for maybe one more really nice jazzy top, jazzy, you know what I mean? But um, let me show you one I've got at the moment that I really like. So when it comes to Italian summers, 
feast your eyes on this little crop top. I love this so much. I wear it with my denim jacket and just some trousers. It's from Urban Outfitters, I think. I really love the kind of tortoiseshell buttons. I think they're really cool. And just, yeah, these kind of linen-y, creamy colors. That's kind of infiltrating my wardrobe in the shirt section, but in the tops, otherwise it's just kind of chill. As per usual, basic plain tees. As you probably can guess from a girl that loves t-shirts, I do mainly wear jeans. Also, jeans are pretty much the only thing that fits me on my bum. I am in a constant struggle of trying to find trousers that fit both my waist and my hips, and often jeans are the best option. So there's a brand new pair of Levi Wedgie jeans, which was a risk, but it's paid off. I love a good cut off straight leg denim at the moment. That's the vibe I'm going for. Yeah. Also, I just want to throw it in there because I love them. Stalf make the most amazing trousers. I've been wearing my, I think they're the linen ones for at least four months now. No, more than four months, six months now. And they're incredible. So let's roll the clips of the trousers. <laughs> something that I've had to ease myself back into because I'd worn trousers and kind of androgynous cuts the whole of autumn and winter and so I love skirts I wanted to get back into them but I felt really uncomfortable in them at the beginning so I've almost been practicing wearing them which I know sounds really weird so I've got a couple of like the long maxi ones that like unbutton to like near my crotch Ooh, saucy. This number, which I'm absolutely loving at the moment, this is my new skirt, my new favorite purchase. It's from Weekday. I love Weekday. Half my wardrobe is from Weekday. It's like a rose pink. I love it. This is one of my favorite colors, and now it's in a denim skirt. It's really easy to dress up, dress down. I wore it to a festival the other day. I wore it to All Points East. I love it. <laughs> there's some rustling going on here. It's always hard to find ones that fit me shape-wise. So I've got three, I'm really loving wearing them, and this is one of them. And if you follow my Instagram, you will have seen this before. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to show it very well here, but it's like a suit dress. It's really cool and it's really short and has a little tie. You're not gonna be able to see this here, but you'll see it in the clips. But yeah, it's from Zara, it was only 30 pounds, and that was my only bit of impulse buying. Not only bit. One of the very few bits of impulse buying I've done in this whole period. I had some minutes to kill before a meeting. I was on Tottenham Court Road and I was like, well, there's not really anywhere to go um, other than Zara. So I walked into Zara, saw it, loved it, bought it. <laughs> Everything's 
pretty much the same. I've just traded out some of my warmer knits for some of my thinner knits and nothing is new. I just didn't really want to buy any jumpers. I generally wear like a t-shirt and a jacket or a shirt and a jacket in this kind of weather. So yeah, there's not really much to update you on that. <laughs> Again, there's not too much to update you on. I've swapped out my thick coats for my rain jacket and for my denim jacket, and that's pretty much it. You've seen my thicker one that I wear on nights out, which is the La Le Fran France one. I can't remember how you pronounce that brand. I'm so sorry. But you've seen everything kind of before on this one. I'm a big fan of my rain jacket, but my boyfriend says it makes me look like a condom. So uh, maybe a pole? Should we do a pole? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's really changed. I, yeah, I've bought some um, Nike Air Max 95s, which I love, but I haven't got them on me because they are so dirty right now after the festival I went to this weekend. But the big and important inclusion is my Birks are back. Oh, my sexy, sexy Birks. I love my Birkenstocks, and I think you'll be hard pressed to find a woman who doesn't love Birkenstocks because. They're comfy, you can walk around in them all day, they're really light and breezy on your feet, but I really love a chunky shoe, and to be honest, they're just the perfect chunky sandal. I just brought them back into my wardrobe, and I've worn them so much, and I couldn't be happier. <laughs> that I'm using on rotation. Some people will say, and I know I'll get asked this in the comments, do you not have like a dressy bag that you use on nights out or at times when you need a nice bag? No, I don't. I'm currently not going on any nice evenings. I'm still trying to find a nice evening jacket. I have not come across one yet, partially because I don't really want to be browsing ASOS late at night and be lured into buying something I don't really need. But yeah, so I'm still stuck on a nice evening jacket. But in general, I kind of wear stuff with pockets. So I put my stuff in a pocket or I try and not really bring much out. Or I'm really lucky that I have like the boyfriend pockets that I can be like, hey, Jack, can I put something in your pocket, please? Thank you. So I just have my three casual bags and they literally work in order of size. I have my main Cancan bag, my black one, which I use if I'm doing any laptop work during the day, if I'm going away for a week, for like a day, <laughs> I would say a weekend not a weekend. And then I have my smaller yellow cancan, which I am so in love with. That's maybe my favourite thing I've got this whole season. And I was kindly gifted it by Urban Outfitters and I nearly cried when it arrived. I was so excited. I use that just going around London, you know? And then finally, for like casual evenings out and when I really don't want to bring anything, I have my East Pack bum bag. I, Americans call them fanny packs. To me, it's a bum bag. I always wear it across like this. A lot of people are wearing the really nice ones around their waists. For me, it's like, I don't think I'm fancy enough for it. So I just have the really like casual one that goes across my body. I'm not 
comments then if I've missed out anything I'm so sorry it's 6 30 p.m on what day is it and <laughs> I, for some reason I thought I could film this whole video in a day but yeah I think I've covered everything thank you so much for watching um I hope you enjoyed this weird summary of what I'm wearing at the moment uh, I could do with one or two more things I think just like for practical necessity but I thought better now than never I'll put this out and you know updates will come as they come but this is the real root basic foundation of my spring and summer wardrobe maybe I'll do an updated one come like summer summer we shall see anyway thank you so much for watching everything I mentioned will be linked in the description bar and I will see you in my next video